who'll move it out of the way. in a documentary. Tornado goes by. Right on my balls. They didn't get too much damage, but they got a lot of debris on the house from the rotation. It just... And the tree just barely missed that SUV that belongs to this house. But they didn't get too much damage here. They got all this. I was, I was telling people I was uh, on my porch when it came East in, Bloomfield. and I just remember a super Not East Boom. Yeah, East Boom feel. The way it looks, I'd say it was not a tornado. Straight line winds. Tree is just gone. Huh. Tree damage. National Weather Service will check it out, but I say it was straight line winds. Excuse me. <laughs> Just a, a narrow band though, but this is way over here on uh, North James. Yeah, Perry Street gets hit hard. So did that house. More utility poles. But it just seems like some of the trees are, I don't know, they have fallen differently. This one's over in this direction. That one is straight ahead, uh, more straight. I don't know. National Weather Service will figure it out. I thought we got some epic winter storms, but yeah, Rome's going to be cleaning up for a few days. And that's Stanwick's Park going to be a few, going to spend most of next week cleaning that up. Power lines. I think the DPW came along and they just uh, shoveled everything over. I'm going to say straight line. Wow. They got hit hard. Oh, wow. 
that State Farm do. <laughs> they got, oh gee, they got hit real hard. Ow, my nuts. Okay, the damage went a lot further than East Bloomfield and Perry Street. <laughs> No, I don't feel as bad. A lot of tree damage down there. I think it was straight line winds. This was definitely not a tornado. Straight line winds. Because it's just all over the place. This cell phones. Even they got hit. Even they got hit. Holy shit. Wow. Look at that. I don't know, Well that house is pretty much done for. You guys are going to be busy today. <laughs> I think the church is gone. I didn't expect all the damage down here, but wow. Are you kidding? I got to see that. Uh. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, there's the church tower. Do you know what church that is? Yeah, it's a church. I think they're going to have to knock it down. And there's the clock. Wow. Side of the church. I mean, you, you know, a <laughs> couple hundred okay. feet away from the church. A lot of damage. Tornado came right through the air and went right through. Are you guys Hell no! <laughs> Wow, that's unreal. With the amount of damage, I'm gonna break this as an F2. What do you think, National Weather Service, F2? I mean, it's just, wow. Wow. And it's even worse down here. Hopefully with the cooler air, we won't have to worry about such a storm. The VFW looks Court good. Street. But as you can see, the rough to, uh... Fucking rain. The roof and the steeple. To St. Mary's, or uh, I think that says St. John's. It's it's gone. I mean, they might be able to repair it, but I mean, it's going to depend on the cost of damage <laughs> that makes them decide whether to repair it or tear it all down. But the roof is just gone. The steeple is gone. The steeple clock that was on that church is about 
300 feet down that road. Okay. And this isn't the only church. St. Mary's Church, gone. Can you imagine uh, hearing that crash down? Well, why don't you people be patient? What the hell are you honking for? And I imagine the other side of St. Mary's got it worse because the wind just went right through the church. Came out, you can tell by the bricks. But this is my favorite church in the city and it's gone. I highly doubt the Vatican or the diocese in Syracuse is gonna bother repairing this. which is really sad because that's a beautiful church. Gone. Used to have a nice high steeple knocked it right down and the Lord brings out the blue sky huh. not all the stained glass got it maybe they can save the stained glass but uh, yeah the larger windows on St. Mary's gone